Oxford EAP is for students of any discipline. So they might be studying architecture, business, computer technology, I'm going A, B, C here, <laughs> zoology, I'll miss out the ones in between. They could be studying any subject. Um, it doesn't matter what their subject is because we're not teaching the subject, we're teaching the academic skills that will serve them across any subject. They're the generic skills, the core skills, for example, of listening to a lecture, extracting the main meaning, writing effective notes and perhaps summarising it, that sort of thing or giving a presentation. The presentation will be personalised to some degree for their own discipline. So it's aimed at all students who are studying in an English medium, usually university or institution, at tertiary level. Oxford EAP covers the traditional four skills of reading, writing, listening and speaking. In fact, usually in that order within a unit. Um, it also, apart from the classic four skills, it covers study skills. So an early unit will cover, for example, how to use an English dictionary, dictionary skills, and a later unit might cover how to do a timed essay, for example. These are more study skills or academic skills. Another major part of it is it covers critical thinking skills, which are, in fact, integrated throughout. They inform a lot of the tasks. And the, the key skills of, for example, analysing, synthesising, evaluating, criticising, these kinds of skills are integrated throughout the book in different tasks. They're flagged up as appropriate, but they're never far away. For Oxford English for Academic Purposes, we chose authentic Oxford University Press texts as examples of excellent models of texts that are used widely at undergraduate levels that students will have to engage with and learn to overcome the challenges in linguistically and conceptually. So they're, they're highly appropriate for our students. Also, um, we chose them to fit our unit themes, for example, intelligence, culture, observation, these kinds of themes, and to meet our academic focus objectives, for example, definitions, problem solution, and so on and so forth. So they're, they're multi-purpose in a sense that they will meet these complex needs very, very well. If Oxford EAP landed on my desk now, I'd be very excited. If it had landed on my desk 20 years ago when I started teaching EAP, I'd have been really excited. It would have met my needs and it would, save, it would have saved me a lot of heartache, actually. Having an integrated skills book is fantastic. Having separate skills books that don't really hang together or relate to each other is far more complicated and artificial. It makes far more sense to have them all in one book where they can be developed. So Oxford English for Academic Purposes covers the academic focus across the skills, which could be, for example, definitions or cause and effect or argumentation. These are covered across the skills, which is a very powerful way of developing these key academic skills.